Did we just find life on Venus? Unveiling the mysterious structure of Venus. In September 2020, a groundbreaking announcement captivated the scientific community. The detection of phosphine gas in the atmosphere of Venus. Astronomers have detected the gas phosphine, PH3, on the planet Venus. This discovery, led by an international team of astronomers, suggested the potential presence of life in the most unexpected of places, the scorching, acidic clouds of Earth's sister planet. On Earth, it's predominantly associated with anaerobic organisms, microbes that thrive in oxygen-free environments, making it a compelling biosignature gas. The presence of phosphine in Venus's atmosphere was particularly intriguing because, under the planet's harsh conditions, Known abiotic processes struggled to produce this molecule in significant quantities. These instruments identified spectral signatures corresponding to phosphine at altitudes of approximately 18 and a half to 32 miles above Venus's surface. The discovery prompted a flurry of scientific investigations aiming to determine the origin of the detected phosphine. Researchers explored various abiotic pathways, including photochemical reactions, surface interactions, and volcanic activity. However, these processes were found insufficient to account for the observed phosphine levels, leading to speculation about biological sources. On Earth, phosphine is produced by anaerobic bacteria in environments such as swamps and wetlands, raising the possibility that similar microorganisms could exist in Venus's temperate cloud layers. Despite the excitement, the findings have been met with skepticism and calls for further verification. In 2022, data from NASA's Stratospheric Observatory for Infrared Astronomy, SOFIA, did not detect phosphine in Venus's atmosphere, casting doubt on the initial discovery. Conversely, a 2023 study reported additional evidence supporting the presence of phosphine, though at lower concentrations than initially reported. The debate intensified in July 2024, when researchers announced the detection of both phosphine and ammonia in Venus's atmosphere. Ammonia's presence is particularly intriguing because it could neutralize the surrounding sulfuric acid, potentially creating microenvironments conducive to life. This finding reignited discussions about the planet's habitability and the possible existence of microbial life in its cloud decks, and the complexities of Venusian atmospheric chemistry. Others advocate for in-situ missions to Venus to obtain definitive answers. Planned missions such as NASA's Da Vinci Plus and Veritas aim to study Venus's atmosphere and surface in unprecedented detail, potentially shedding light on the source of these enigmatic gases. While the presence of these gases is not conclusive evidence of life, it challenges our understanding of Venus and highlights the need for continued exploration and study.